you know black folks and you basically always look down here when I usually have full screen and you can see what time it is and we got this long till this activity and want to talk more about what our tax paying dollars pay NASA and they disclose don't disclose don't disclose okay military stuff yes they don't have to disclose that okay uh, I'm even biting my tongue on some stuff I'll say that the idea that there are certain times when they have put too much stuff on the internet also just in relating to space so I can somewhat understand what's annoying is uh, times that we have that you have seen in the video just before this one of the idea that that stuff, this is material here, and I'm going to go to it, I guess, while I'm blabbing here, is this stuff is out in space, okay? Now, this is water, moisture here, okay? Now, I'm going to go to photos and pick up some of the terahydrons, tetrahydrons, and possibly this might be three of them right now, right there, because this webcam refreshes, this is USGS, checking out what's going on at, uh, now, we get moisture up there on these cameras so sometimes it's annoying that the idea that you don't know you know some of it can be moisture and some of it can be light propagation from outer space also you know it just refreshed and what's interesting is is the idea that it might possibly be as you can see that this just refreshed and it might actually be light propagation that dark streak instead of the water streaks but we know that this is terahydrons tetrahydrons being seen there let me take you and I'm gonna plop I'll scan to the right and you can see the address on this, and you can also, I'll keep putting the link up, I put it up on the last one, and there's terahydrons, tetrahydrons, and then we have the moisture. I mean, I'm not going to deny that there's moisture on these cams, okay? But check that light propagation out from the outer space, ladies and gentlemen, through the clouds, okay? Terahydrons, tetrahydrons. Now, the scientists have known about this for years, and they're studying it. See this electrical energy, folks? Light is electrical energy, ladies and gentlemen. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, SETCHI, since we had caught them with their satellite seeing what's going on in the moon thing now what what I'm want to bust balls on now that if anybody tries to say in light propagation from outer space folks okay you see that light energy that's a propagation it's not a light or solar flare okay yes there gets to be sun flare on the camera but these cameras actually all these all weather cameras that are almost at all these scientific bases basically are going to show you like pictolite, okay? I'm an industrial commercial electrician, okay? There is scientific in these new cameras that are all out, and basically the bust everybody's balls is the picture of, as you can see, that light energy. And actually it can end up being a rainbow. It doesn't matter. A rainbow is light energy, okay? So these are terahydrons, tetrahydrons, and basically let me plop you over to uh, also, as you see these two images here, and more than likely, maybe a, a try. They don't like this sharing information. Not, folks, I don't play around. Do not overload the computer and make anything. And that's what everybody. Oh, it's this, and they got all like that. That's why comments like that that are asinine don't get posted. Okay, don't have time to waste an asinine. As soon as I even see a negative thing, I'm boom, I'm gone. Now this is basically a signature of what's getting propagated to the camera digitally. Okay. So light or whatever is that's coming down in that area right there is going to come up as what it is. Also light here. That's why it picks up the whole damn image. Okay, the only thing you don't get is when this they've got that uh, advertising there for that local radio station. Okay, now this is out of uh, Oregon, I believe. Okay, now you can see it. I mean, it's burning right through the sun. I mean, through the clouds. Excuse me. I don't re I don't have time for. I don't even watch my recordings. Like my last recording, I know they screwed with it. And I ended up seeing a little portion at the end. I sped through it in the idea of sound. Now, they're always going to screw with my sound. They're going to screw around. I might even have to do a sound check here right now. And I will between going to another screen. Screen. And I apologize not being able to. I was going to try to show you Yellowstone again, and I missed it. But check out how the ash, and I mentioned that in the one that I'm going to be uploading. And I'm not sure when I'll upload that. And I even know the one for chemtrails I didn't upload. But if anybody starts crying a lot about chemtrails again, I'll throw that up, and I recorded it, I think, just before Christmas or Thanksgiving or something, and I got a nice, sweet, little, innocent kid in the family who basically, he's honest, he sees what I see, and that we know what's going on, and there's so much, you know, that basically hush up, you know, there's certain times when basically the, you know, just the overall, I mean, we all want to eat, so we get the light propagation up there in Hawaii, 
showing up on the cameras. Now I think that this automatically refreshes, so the idea that it'll be different, possibly even than when the time. And yes, but the, these cameras actually pick up the signature of the sun, and you can see the sun has this signature. Okay, that object that we seen at 1 a.m. in the morning in 2200 hours UTC Zulu, and possibly 2200 through 3 o'clock a.m. in Hawaii, or basically. Uh, I can't remember the times on the clocks. It, it just it basically an Aspen asks me to try to play with that crap, okay? But the sun puts off a certain signature, okay? So when you're seeing it on a webcam, a scientist is going to sit there and that studies the sun and so forth and so on, and astronomy is going to know, okay, that's a signature from the sun, okay? And this is. This is a signature from the sun, and you watch the telescope. Basically, it's this uh, Canadian and uh, French one right here. The uh, You go ahead and go to that. And you can click on this, and it'll take you to that site. Okay? And at that object that we've seen at the footage that I give you from Hawaii, we get those dark images that basically I was showing you on this other one. And basically, you can see the light energy popping off the dome. Okay? So basically, it's, the sun's not even giving you that black spot that we've seen before. Okay? This camera doesn't. And that's why when you do see it, it's like either M22 or another object in front of the sun. And there are lots of objects in front of the sun between here and the sun, the IE right there. Another shot, and this is recently of this uh, uh, year. Um, uh, and then this was light, this light propagation I showed you in the last video went into that. And I'm not sure if that this is a clear lens, on, uh, a shade on this one or not. I'm not sure if that is bleeding through a clear lens that they have on a shade on this camera. Because they, maybe the scientists have put that up there because they want to watch. Or if the idea that it is a solid one and actually that light propagation actually is end up up underneath the hood not sure okay but that is not a dirty lens ladies and gentlemen you can go to the cameras and watch it and it will change over time there's our terahydrons tetrahydrons again in the sky now this stuff is going to end up scaring people in the united states or anywhere in any country in the future now you can almost see uh... the rotation of whatever object that is in front of the sun right there and it's not a it's not a flare of a camera flare okay it is actually sun projecting and showing the images that are between here and the sun in our daytime sky. Okay, so let me pop in on that. I can zoom in on that. So I'm going to stop, stop taping and check mic. So I popped in, checked out sound, and here we go, folks. And basically, you'll see a planet right there. And there's some stuff rotating around it, and it's basically being seen in the daytime sky if you get up to a high enough location. So basically, uh, if you got Nordic in you, get up. Uh, or if you want to be Norwegian or Scandinavian uh, of any descent, German, Dutch, Holland, Swedish, uh, you know, we've lived in the mountains for years, ethnically wise, and we're all over the world, and you can go see this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So there's stuff rotating around that. Now, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and be stupid to say, okay, well, I think it's the same dark object you've seen earlier in this other propagation, because basically you can see it here as I'm scrolling through it a thousand. They don't like this, folks, because we're seeing what the scientists have been seeing and what the idea that, is it recent or no, and no, it's not, because basically I'm going to go to the photos here in a little bit, and there's stuff that's been showing up for a long time. So basically, you can see planets, ladies and gentlemen, during the damn daylight, okay, in certain parts of the country, and you're going to see it at lower sea level and below sea level also, okay? Because the stuff is basically can be seen. Now, I'm saving tape time, and, and that is, that's the sun up there, folks, okay? And then that's some objects that are below it, okay? And it's between us and the sun. Now, the stuff's hella still way out there, but the NASA now basically with us finding that satellite, uh, I'll basically scroll left here and keep getting the words in. So I because I don't write no scripts, folks. Just go ahead and blast the data out to you, okay? So... They don't, but I'm worried, of, or not worried, I'm just basically warning people that the idea that this light propagation that you've seen on the last video that I did just before this one, realize that it would end up that they could turn around with the BS of even using what I'm putting on the internet, but listen to what I'm saying. That object, so uh, what I'll be able to do is when I go to photos here in a second, I'm just basically cruising around the cameras right now because a lot of these update. Now there's some, some old footage that they end up showing you that some don't update their front shot and then you click on that picture and you'll go to the today shot now see this camera shows you today sun showing up in a camera nothing in front of the sun so see these cameras that everybody's always been saying that glitch the key is the uh, famous photographer that used to live around Yosemite okay now there's your terahydrons also you end up seeing in this bright stuff in, this, in these planets and stuff and everything that's see and now that's not that satellite 
from because that's what they're gonna try to pull, ladies and gentlemen. And let me go to my email real fast. I gotta show you something from my email. And folks, this is a webcam from Oregon, the Hood River camera, okay, today. And basically this stuff is all being there and all being seen. Okay, and I zoomed in on it because you've got dark clouds and there as you go. That's that's the stuff that's rotating around. Now I'm not saying it's the exact same terahydrons from uh the same because there's lots of terahydrons out there in space, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there's going to be a little blur here as I flop through real fast and get to these pictures that I uh, basically snapped off today. And there you go, found it on the webcam. And then because I was popping around looking at it, now that's basically this is a hole that got propagated through, and there's a video you can go and play. And basically, you can possibly see the website that I got it from. And that's what happens when a uh, any uh, like a Atlas rocket goes through uh, outer space. Okay. Now the one thing I want to put out real fast, what people are watching when I basically busted NASA's balls on the the cause we got the meatball, we know it's out there. Okay. Now don't let them fake you out by showing this information. I mean I'm showing you this basically because that's what happens there when something. So basically, are they going to tell us that basically? They're going to admit that there's something out there in space. The idea that when they pop somewhat on another planet somewhere in universes, that we get something like that? No, we don't. Okay, that's why this roughness over here that you see in the different size, and when you play this guy's video, you will see how it, it propagated up in real fast and everything like that. Now I may, may hang on. Let me cue and see if I like I say I slapped the data out here, so being sloppy. But here's some more terahydrons and tetrahydrons that that could be caught on old and like in 2010. 5:30, that the stuff was in front of the sun, and that's why what I'm saying is the idea that the sun has been moving through the supergiants for quite a long time, ladies and gentlemen. And they've been keeping it quiet, and then they did the Obama starting to do the scary ass speech a while back and everything like that. So this stuff here was the first of December of 2009. Okay, light propagation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this stuff keeps getting closer, and I think I've got an example in here. Okay, now this was a shot today. And then you'll end up seeing what was propagated up at earlier, okay? Someone doesn't jump up there in the middle of the afternoon and clean the camera lens, folks, and there's a terahydrin, okay? So it's doing this stuff, and this stuff's from over in Hawaii. That shot was from over in Hawaii, okay? That shot's from over in Hawaii, I believe. If I'm wrong on that, I don't really give a rat's ass. Also, light propagation here. And no, folks, the high line wires are right here, okay? Going straight. They're not going to shoot up into the sky, okay? There's not a, a mountain tram up there, okay? There's not a trestle lines. That's actual. And basically, I can zoom in on that real fast here with the, with this tool. So there you go. That that's not that's light propagation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And there's not a ride like at Heavenly or over in the Alps, Swiss Alps, or anything like that. Okay. That's light propagation. And that shot was taken also today. Okay. As you can see, the January 3rd, 2012. Okay. So now an, an older shot of oh things over here of. Of uh, twelve seventeen oh one, okay. So what it was is basically, I think I'll have a shot here of where I took a shot of. Yes, this is an a, an, an earlier shot of like today, and then basically this is from twelve seventeen oh one on in oh one, and you'll see this B right here, and I can zoom in on that again on this on this, and you will see that this can web camera picked up that. Now I can't scoot over, so I'm going to have to sc scoot back out on the on the zoom. But it picked up that V action or whatever that color action there, right? Well, today, it's gotten a lot closer to Earth, ladies and gentlemen, because that's it right there. Okay? Pretty much the same camera, the same webcam. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Today's date, and I was pointed up there, but you can see that colorization. So this stuff has gotten a hell of a lot closer to Earth. And there, there you go. I believe that, that is the shot from uh, earlier... That the idea that that was the date on that one, okay? Because then, then also, I'm not sure if this is an object that's been being propagated from outer space, or if that was an instrument that they had set up. Like it, it could have been an instrument that they had set up there. You'd have to go to back to that day and research that footage and see if that's actual light propagation. But it honestly somewhat looks like a. But it could be a light propagation from that V down here on the to Earth, 3704. So that's how long that the sun's been going into the supergiants. And then this shot was from that date I just had there flashed. And that's what you can see in the daytime sky over in Hawaii right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not sure. I think that possibly is a cloud burst, too, probably from the volcano heat that gets put up in the, in the air. But I do know that that's a terahydrin connected to these down here, and you can see the terahydrin there. 
So what I'm trying to explain to everybody that it's not this going to be when they say that oh it's the it's the space. So we'll continue this video, folks.